G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. This is the video you guys have been waiting for. I am going to attempt, I'll say the word attempt lightly, <laughs> um, to make um, a Druzy insert. Now, oh, over a year ago I did one with resin and crushed glass. Um, you may remember me doing that one which turned out really well, but I'm going to try and grow real crystals for my Druzy insert. And I'm using this glass bowl. It's actually, um, I think it's one of my old dog feeding bowls that came in a metal, like a, a yeah, metal bowl underneath it. So I'm going to use that. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to paint the inside with some wood glue. Now make sure that your glue is, uh, water resistant otherwise when you add the water it, it could just all dissolve and break up and be a big mess um, I tried with um, Elmer's school glue a little while back and had all the little bits of on the top um, in the water had all these little bits of um, floating glue so I don't know whether that was the best choice so I went out and bought this one from Amazon Gorilla wood glue so it's gonna pop that in there and I'm going to paint it liberally now you could if you wanted to just pour in your alum solution into into the bowl and it will crystallize but what I have found is it, when I just pour alum solution in um, it grows in like steps and they're all flat on the top I think you call them tetrahedral but um, I, and I, I don't want that I want actual actual crystals like with pointy edges and things like that so put a little bit more and I'm going to go a little bit oops <laughs> a little bit higher up the side close that go a little bit higher up the side so probably maybe halfway up the side I guess And uh, then I'm going to use my alum powder, which is this one here, aluminium potassium sulfate or aluminum potassium sulfate, depending on where you're from. Um, also known as alum. Uh, I got my first batch on Amazon and then after that um, I just got it on, on eBay. I just thought, oh, it's closer to me than having to wait for it to come from the US. But you can you can certainly buy it on on Amazon. All right, that'll do. Um, I can just wash this out with with water later on. Move all that out of the way. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is grab some of our alum crystal powder, and I wrote alum there next to it because so, I've got another container like this which I've got my ADP in, which is something different. This is a sulfate and my other one that I use for growing crystals is a phosphate. So this is sulfate. I'm learning so much like oh my brain's in overload. Okay um, what can I use? What can I use? I've got a little spoon. Now I've got some bigger pieces in here that um, you know I, I used and then like in projects and then I just tipped the crystals back in here because you can reuse them again. You can, um, you know, dissolve them down and use them again. So I'm just trying to find the the powdery light stuff, like so. But yeah, down the bottom I've got some bigger, bigger pieces that, um, yeah, I'll just melt down again. You can certainly reuse them. I don't know why that's yellow. Okay, so let's just, it's like lining, um, lining your baking tin with flour <laughs> if you don't want your cake to stick so that sort of thing tip out the excess kind of want a flat a flattish surface so anyway that's it nothing else wants to come out so just going to to leave it I think that should be all right. I don't think you need to sort of press it down or anything. I think whatever's stuck to the bottom will will work. So I'm going to leave that for, what's the time now? Quarter past nine in the morning. I'll come back and do it like after dinner tonight. 
so that by the time I'm pouring the water in um, when it's cool enough because you can't pour hot water into these they'll just dissolve so you need to wait until your solution has uh, cooled down but anyway that'll be the next step I'll show you that shortly um, and I'll, I'll just give this like 10 hours 12 hours to to dry and uh, then we'll move on to the next step right it's the next day I ended up letting this sit overnight I was busy moving things into <laughs> the unit for my daughter wow. last night and uh, we we didn't get to it so right I've got some water that has just boiled in my kettle here and I'm gonna do 200 milliliters I like the 200 with the 90 grams of alum seems to work nicely for me I find if I put too much um, powder in um, I just get those little little tiny fluffy like little crystals rather than the nice big crystals so that's what I've been doing all right so that's 200 milliliters in there and now we'll put in the alum sure it's on grams <laughs> and we're going to put in 90 it's 40 60 we're up to 60 70 in <clears throat> in here I've got some um, you know bigger bigger pieces that I just pour back in you know that are sitting on the bottom of the container you just pour them back in and then you can reuse them again it's fine they're just not going to take us they'll probably take a little bit longer to dissolve but look at that that's a pretty one isn't it that would be a really good seed crystal but um, anyway <laughs> so when, when you get your alum it's really fine powder like that but then after you've used it a few times you can just pour it back in all right what are we up to 76 oh, 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 we've gone to 100 that was quick wasn't it I'll put just a actually no I won't I won't put any more in oh I need my spoon because I probably probably won't be able to totally dissolve it because it's got those some of those quite big crystals in it let it go yeah there's some quite large ones in there uh, and what I'll do is I'll just take them out at the, at the end if they don't dissolve. So anyway, I'm going to stir this up. And then when it won't dissolve anymore, I'm going to pop it in my microwave for a minute or two. Um, and let it come back up to heat because it's it's no longer really hot because, you know, the, the glass was cold, the powder's cold. So as soon as you add those to your water, the temperature of the water drops significantly. And I just, I find that it doesn't want to dissolve properly. So I'll pop it in the microwave. Um, and then it will dissolve all the way. So I microwaved it and it is pretty clear. There's just a couple of big crystals that haven't dissolved. So I'll just actually take those out. And there's a little, little floaty of some kind in there. You can sieve your, well not, probably not sieve it because anything tiny is going to go straight through the sieve, but you can use coffee filters um, just to actually make sure that your solution is really clean before it, oh well, that's hot, <laughs> before it um, goes on to your crystals. I am going to add just a dinky little bit of water because I went over with my, my alum crystals. All right, so now that just needs to sit. Put a bit of paper towel over the top just so we don't get any flies and things in there I'll probably give it about an hour and then um, once it's cooled down we can pour it over that can't pour it over now otherwise I'll just all dissolve 
All right, I'm over here on the other side of my studio because I've got a resin piece curing now on my workbench and I've got a time lapse. I'm doing a Larimar. I've got a time lapse going and my water was getting cool. Look, look, it's getting crystals in the bottom. So I thought, oh, I better just come over here and pour in here. So hopefully I won't dislodge my crystals. I waited until it... You know when you put your finger in water and you think, oh yeah, it's warm because it feels warmer than your body? I'm just going to move over here a bit. But um, it felt like it didn't feel warm. Yeah, it is moving a little bit. I'm just going to try and put this kind of everywhere. Got a little bit of loose powder in there, but it'll settle. And I'm just going to make sure I don't pour, you know, the crystals from there into it. I'll have enough. I don't need to fill it up. Okay, so we've got some loose crystals flying around in there, but they sh they'll, they'll settle. So I'll just pour that like so. Oh, look at that. Happens so quickly, doesn't it? I might be able to get a good seed crystal out of that. Okay, I'm going to go and put my um, camera back up so I can finish my time lapse. I will, this is going to stay now, um, I'm going to just pick it up and put it in my, put it on a shelf over there, um, out of the way, and uh, we'll come back to it tomorrow, so yep, see you tomorrow. Alright, let's have a little look at our crystals, now I know it's really hard for you to see, so I'm going to just shine my light in there, look away if you don't like bright lights, Let's see if we can get a bit closer. It's, like I said, it's really tricky to try and see clear things, <laughs> but we'll do our best. So I let it sit for two days. I checked it after the first day and there was only those little tiny, I call them fluff, <laughs> just little fluffs. Um, they weren't, they hadn't sort of grown into crystals yet. So I left it another day. And hopefully, hopefully this will be good. So I'm just going to empty the water out and then uh, we're going to have to let it dry overnight before we can um, put some silicone in. Just put down a little bit of paper because I'm sure I'm going to drip. Get another one. I have these pre-torn <laughs> bits of um, paper. All right. Paper towel. Let's see if I can get this in here without too much mess. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Now, this uh, solution, you can, you can use that again. So, I mean, it's, I know it's only a tiny bit, but if you need, if you're doing another project and you just need to like top it up with some um, alum, then you can use that. Or if you wanted to, because the, um, the crystal, the powders come out of the water and gone into here, this is probably not very saturated anymore. So you would need to reheat it and maybe add a tablespoon or so of um, alum again. All right, let's just... Pat this dry. Now, because we've gone from that, those fluffy little crystals to nice, sort of decent sized crystals, they'll be quite hard. They'll be quite set, but um, still, while they're wet like this, they're not as tough as they will be when they when they dry totally. So just again, be careful with them. If you have been growing crystals. Uh, recently if you've been trying it out and you get those really really tiny little fluffy ones if you know what I'm talking about they just kind of crumble in your fingers whereas these these are kind of rock hard now oh, look at that once it's dried um, I'll see if I can get some better shots for you of the um, the crystals these are amazing crystals you guys <gasps> They are so good and see how it's crept up the sides as well so when you pour your silicone in there your little druzy in inserts or inlays are going to have a nice crystally edge as well not just a, a round ring so that's really nice as well so at this stage if there are any big ones kind of poking out and you think oh, 
really don't want that one there you could potentially pick it out but I'm not going to I'm going to do a very very thin layer of silicone on that and uh, hopefully hopefully it's going to hope it's going to look really pretty but yeah we've got some really nice sized crystals in there if you wanted them bigger obviously just let, let them go another day but um I think they're quite big enough for what um, I'm wanting otherwise they get too high and then you end up making your your silicone too thick to cover them and then they're no longer an inlay <laughs> all right I'll put that aside to to dry until tomorrow uh, and then we'll come and make some inlays so it's the next day and my crystals have dried out totally they are rock hard there's no way you're going to get any of those little crystals out unless you're going to really pick at them with um with something sharp and a hammer but so yeah they are really really rock hard and set in there so it is time to mix up some silicone the silicone i'm using is my own brand of silicone pouring your heart out now I've got fives down here, sure hardness of five. Sometimes it's written SH5, other times it's written 5A. Um, and uh, yeah, so the lower the number, the softer the silicone is. So when I'm doing my little inserts or inlays, I use a really soft silicone or maybe molds that are quite detailed, like really detailed. Um, you use a really soft silicone for that. Uh, my other silicone <clears throat> that I use for my standard molds is um, is a 25 sure hardness. I'm just going to go 30 grams of A. So A is sort of a. I can get it open. I banged it on the side of the table and it it loosened it. All right, um, what was I saying? Oh, my regular molds are made with uh, 25s. So it's a much more, much sort of thicker, sturdier silicone. But uh, yeah, if you wanted to pick up something that's got a lot of detail, um, I'd certainly go with the um, thinner, softer resins. Oh, resins, silicones. Just trying to get to 30. I shouldn't talk while I'm trying to look at the scale. <laughs> trying to get to 30. So 30 of A, 30 of B. Uh, and then we just mix those together for three minutes. Let's put the lids back on those. And the other thing that you want with, um, when you're doing an, an insert, like a druzy insert, yes, you want it to be nice and soft, but the main reason for using a soft silicone, let me just put the timer on, um, is that when you put it into your other mold, you want it to stick. Like you don't want it to just sit there and be hard and rigid and then, you know, your resin flows underneath. You don't want that. The, the whole reason of having an inlay is it adheres nicely to the silicon mold that you're using and the resin just flows over the top and hardly any, if any, sort of gets underneath. So that's that's the whole idea for using a really thin, uh, soft, mainly soft silicone. Now, as I said, I, I get these made especially for me. Um, I import them. I get two ton at a time. So I don't really sell it because it's so heavy. Like these are, these are a kilo each. And, uh, you know, they're just so expensive to ship. So um, I, I just use those. But... If you're in Australia, you can jump on to eBay and go to Silly Crete or Silly Create. I'm not sure which way they pronounce it. They've got a nice 15, sure hardness of 15. Whatever you do, don't get the quick set, okay? I have ruined so many of my master molds because it just doesn't come out. Like, it's stuck in there forever. You wouldn't think so. Maybe it's just the type of mold that I have, but yeah. I'd say if you're going to use that, test it on a little surface first and see if it's actually going to come out because mine didn't. But their 15 is uh, is nice. Um, unless, you know, if you're overseas, look for something that's soft. Nice and soft with a low 5 or a 10, even a 15 uh, would be good. 
All right, I'm going to stir this for one more minute and then uh, we'll pour. Right, all stirred up. I stirred it for three minutes. My resin I stir for four generally. Now, when I'm making my, my moulds, um, I use an air blower or what do you call them? Air duster. It's got this one on eBay. Um, sometimes they're a push button, sometimes it's a slide button. You just press it once for low and then two for high. So just give your mold, your master mold, a bit of a blow. Like that, make sure it's nice and clean. Rock hard. Okay, here we go. Now, it, it is preferable to sort of pour from up high in a thin stream. That way any bubbles that are in the stream there can hopefully release. Um, you can also put your silicone in your vacuum chamber. If you've got an airless bubble release machine, you can pop it in there um, and get the bubbles out. But like I said, it's a thin silicone, so generally the bubbles sort of come up to the top quite easily. So what we want to do is want to get a really Thin a little layer so I don't want to pour too much in now as you can see the crystals have grown up the sides which means that um, when I tilt this around the edges the edges are gonna be crystally as well whereas if you just use um, you know a master mold that's got straight flat edges then your drizzy insert will have flat edges as well so I'm just sort of tilting it I don't want to go up the sides too too much I just kind of let the resin find its resin. I'm so used to talking about resin. I'm not used to doing silicone <laughs> videos. Let it find its own way. But again, uh, if you can pour it thinly, um, you'll be able, it'll be more versatile. You can put it into thinner molds. If you pour it, the silicone quite thick, then you're going to have to find a thick mold to, to put it into, to use. So just see if you can pour it as thinly as possible. Trying to get like a nice sort of symmetrical shape. <laughs> All right, we'll just let that settle and then uh, we'll see if we need a little bit more. I'd rather put in less to start with and then add more. So you can see around the edges there that the, the crystals are kind of poking up. So we'll put a little bit more in, but I want to add it slowly. I don't want to get, I don't want to get too carried away. can just sort of push it to the sides but yeah I wouldn't be putting too much in otherwise your little druzy is going to be too thick when I because if you if you've bought from my eBay store before you'll know that I sell druzies um, in different different sizes a little bit more it's still poking up there you don't have to pour the silicone so thick that you can't see any of those little grey dots. Uh, if you can still see a few of them, that's fine. As long as they're not literally poking out through the surface, it's okay if you can sort of see the, the shadow of them underneath because you're still going to have a, a decent covering over the top of them. Um, it's, just, it's just that you can see through the, um, the silicone doesn't mean that you need to keep going until it's you know totally white opaque so these little few little ones that you can see sort of poking through there that's fine and then I just blow the bubbles don't torch like don't torch you can get like a skin you can just blow the bubbles and you don't even need to do that really but um, but you can you can now um, if see i've got a couple here that aren't quite as high as there so what you can do is you can just get yourself a little bit of card or something like that and just sort of pop it under under there just to encourage that silicone to go that way ever so slightly all right so we'll put that aside and let that cure uh, keep an eye on it every five minutes just come and give it a little torch the torch and blow <laughs> see i'm so used to talking to you about resin um, give it a little blow to um, get those bubbles out. Now, I'll show you some of the ones that I have made previously um, and that uh, I do sell. 
and uh, I may sell this one as well because it's going to be a little bit more chunky. These are all quite fine, these ones. So there's a little a little dude. They come in, these, these all come in a set of four, these little ones. So there's a small one. There's the medium one. And you can see they're not very they're not very thick. They don't need to be thick, but thick enough. So that you can put them in another mold. So that's the medium. Four of those. You get four in a set. That's the large. And four in a set. And then there's this one, which you just buy singularly. 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 <laughs> and then that's the large. So you just buy these ones individually. So you see the difference between those. And uh, say, so, the, the, the little dude, the little dude. So it's a big one. Nice for a tray. Um, and then um, I've got a couple of hearts as well. So again, nice and thin. They're all, um, you know, really thin druzies. If you If you grow your crystals and you make yourself like a big tray, like you can you can grow crystals in anything. You can make a big rectangle, like say for instance a baking tray or like a pizza plate or something like that. Maybe I'll do one at some stage. But you can um, you can make them whatever size you want, um, and then you can just cut your you know cut your silicone out and and make whatever sort of shapes you want. Now this is not. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more there. It hasn't covered totally. So um, yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys. That's pretty much it. I'm going to put one more little... Mm, maybe not. All right, so that's it. I will see you... I need to let this kind of sit for about six hours before I unmold it. And, um, and then I'll, I'll do a, a video on... Um, well, I'll come back and unmold it, and then I'll do another video afterwards of me using it. Now, if you wanted to, like, make a big deep insert you can pour your silicone you know as high up up the sides as as you wanted to you know you can come right up the sides if you want if you want to make like a big thick chunky inlay like to put inside hmm let's say a giant turtle maybe <laughs> you can make yourself like a big thick one um, and you know put a little light in it when you when you peel it out because it's quite deep you peel it out and give you quite a big thick cavity so you know that's an idea as well there's all sorts of things you could do with this you could put lights in them as well but anyway that's that's another video all right I'll see you um, when it's time to unmold it's the next day and my silicon has cured up nicely could have taken it out yesterday but um, I went out went out for dinner with some friends so let's just peel this out. Now I just like to use a little bamboo skewer. Uh, don't use anything metal because you don't want to scratch those crystals. You've just spent like three days making crystals. Look, and you don't want to scratch them or dislodge them. Look at that. Don't look at my nails. I need to do them. It's hard work having to keep nails looking nice. It's hard work. Look at that. That is just perfect if I do say so myself oh that is divine now um, where's my other one that I had I put it away I'll show you the difference between this one which is I think a little bit more chunky I let my crystals grow an extra day oh, I'm so happy with it I'm gonna do a big one should we do like a big one so this one here actually I'll go and get my other one so this is the one that I just unmolded and you can see it's got quite large crystal -y effects and this is my standard one that that I sell my druzy insert this is the medium druzy insert so still really pretty but the, it's smaller it's like a, it's a more fine crystal and then that's the other one this one's a little bit bigger actually not much Tiny bit bigger, not much. <laughs> but yeah, love it, loving it. Can you actually see the difference in the size of the crystals? Hopefully you can. I know it's a bit difficult to see things like that on, on the screen, but that's, love it. All right, now I can use this again and again and again. Um, or if you didn't want to keep using that, you could 
make a resin mold out of this one so I am going oh, I'm not going to pour in it now but um, I will later on and I think I'll use my chunky edge or is this my crystal edge it's got nice crystal edges on it and let's see how it works pop it in there make sure it's sort of centered where you want it before you push it down it's not exactly symmetrical the mold or the druzy insert but you sort of put it where you where you're happy with it <laughs> before you push it down okay so then just push 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 all the way down should we do the flip test <laughs> they whip up egg whites and then they flip it upside down on their heads oh it's a bit dirty on there but there it is look it stayed it's still in there so yeah sticks really really well especially if you're using that nice um, 5 or 10 or even 15 of the silicon the sure hardness it sticks really well look at that it, it adheres really well so there you go okay so that'll be my next video so hopefully you've enjoyed this video hopefully you've learned something um, like I said, if you, if you don't want to grow your own crystals, I have got a video on how to use crushed, crushed glass to, to make a similar druzy, and uh, I will link that one up in the top right hand corner at the end of the video for you. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think of it. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>